Steel wire barbecue bristles are just too dangerous and this safer brush alternative just isn't stacking up. So I asked for your help in suggesting a safer and effective alternative to cleaning my barbecue grill grates. In this video, I'm gonna check out the two most popular recommendations and stacking them up against each other with surprising results and one clear winner. Let's dive in. Okay, so a few weeks back, I made a video about the dangers of steel wire barbecue brushes. If you haven't watched that video, go check it out. But basically those little wire bristles, those steel wire bristles can fall off into your barbecue or worse, into your food, and then you end up eating them and they can actually send you to the ER with life-threatening injuries. And actually, some people will have life-altering injuries. Doctors may have to remove a portion of their colon or other organs, and that greatly reduces their quality of life. So it's a very serious issue. And sadly, it actually ends up happening to a lot of children. So I got a lot of comments, a lot of responses, suggestions in that video. I actually released it across all my social media platforms, Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. And actually the two most popular responses that I got overwhelmingly was the onion method and the aluminum ball or wadding up an aluminum ball method, whatever you guys wanna call it, you guys all called it different things, but basically taking aluminum foil and you know, forming it into a ball, grabbing your grill tongs and using that to clean off your grill grates. So I really wanna thank all of you guys for your suggestions. I appreciate it. We had a lot of good collaboration by a lot of different people across you know, all the social media platforms that I have. And I was excited to try them out. So in this video, I'm gonna try out your recommendations. We're gonna take a look at the onion method and the aluminum foil ball method. And I'm gonna stack them up against the safe brush method that I had that didn't work very well. And I'm gonna see how it goes. Those two methods seem to work great for a lot of you and your parents and their parents and your grandparents, so they must be pretty good. So let's get started. So by far the most popular recommendations were the onion method and the wad up ball of aluminum foil method. And I just had to try them out. I have a really dirty grill here. It's been preheated and first up is gonna be the onion method. So I cut up a half of an onion and placed it right on the grill grates and got to work. And I gotta tell you, at first I was really unsure about this method, but so many of you were confident and commented that there was a lot of different pros to the onion method. For example, not only does it clean your grill grates, but it also provides some seasoning, which helps with food sticking to your grill grates. And you can always cut up the dirty piece and eat the onion. So it all sounded really good to me. I kept the skin on the onion, which kind of helped my hand a bit with the heat, but I also stayed away from the coals. As I got closer to the coals, I obviously had to use grill tongs, but my initial reactions were it was doing a fairly decent job. And it actually was seasoning my grill grates, but it wasn't getting in between the grates, so it was leaving some food particles behind. But overall, for something that is readily available, I was super impressed. The next day, I allowed the grill to heat up to operating temperatures again, got another dirty grill, and it was time to test out the aluminum ball method. I wanted to test out the aluminum ball method with my hands at first to see how hot did it get before I needed grill tongs. And obviously the closer I got to the coals, the hotter it got, and eventually I did need those grill tongs. One big con about this method is it's not very smooth and you do get caught up, but it's extremely effective at cleaning your grill grates, and I mean cleaning them. Even the stuff in between, even the hard to reach areas, I felt like my grill grates were extra clean and it worked really, really well and reminded me of a steel wire brush. So when it came down to safely cleaning my grill grates between meals, which was primarily what I was looking for, the aluminum ball method was the clear winner. But now I wanted to clean right over the coals. It's one thing to clean in direct heat, but right over the heat, right on top of the heat, I was curious to see if one method was gonna fail over the other, and I thought the onion method would. Surprisingly though, the onion method did a fantastic job. It actually took the form of the grill grates and did better at cleaning in between and getting all that gunk out, with the added bonus of seasoning or lubricating the grill grates. So I think it did a great job. 
And of course, the aluminum ball method was not phased at all with the direct heat. I wasn't expecting the aluminum foil to have any reaction with the added heat, but it did get caught up a few times. And if I'm being quite honest with you guys, it was really awkward and kind of difficult using the grill tongs. But overall, I think I just need some more practice. And I feel like both methods did a fantastic job, but I can definitely see why the onion method is an incredibly popular method as well. So how did your recommendation stack up to a $30 safe alternative steel wire brush without the steel wire bristles? Well, obviously you guys already know that I'm not too happy with this brush. Otherwise I wouldn't be making this video. It just wasn't very effective at cleaning my grill grates in between meals. Going forward, I think I have a new clear winner. There was a few other suggestions that I decided not to test out or pursue any further. One of them was the barbecue grill rescue brush. I forget what it's called exactly, but based on the Amazon reviews, I'm not too sure if I'm really confident with that brush. I may still give it a try, maybe in a future video. And if you guys leave a comment below persuading me to change my mind, I'll definitely consider it. But based on the Amazon reviews, I felt like it was just another version of the safe brush that I already had. And likewise, the wood scraper, that I guess forms to your specific grill grates after some heat. I also decided not to pursue that for two reasons. I felt like it really resembled the scraper that I had already tried out and didn't really work too well. And I felt like it was just gonna take way too much time, just like the scraper. So I kind of saw it as another iteration of the scraper, just, you know, wider. And I didn't like that it was gonna form to a specific grill grate because I have multiple barbecues. So that would have meant that I would have had to buy multiple different brushes to accommodate all the barbecues. And I didn't really want to do that because they were kind of pricey. So I kind of ruled those two brushes out. Okay, so as you guys can see, the onion method surprisingly worked really, really well. Added bonus, you can eat the onion afterwards, just cut off the nasty bit and it's delicious. So the onion method definitely has a lot of pros, but I got to give first place to the aluminum foil, aluminum ball method. It's an incredibly effective method. It's very cheap and disposable. You just get rid of the aluminum foil when you're done. But I was really happy to see that it got in between the grates and even around the grates in those hard to reach spots. And it was very effective at scraping all that gunk out of there. And of course, above all, it was extremely safe. And actually, if I'm being fair, the aluminum ball method and the onion method were really close. I really think that they're both effective methods. I mean, the onion method also kind of seasons your grill grates, which is also an added bonus. But for my purposes, where I really wanted to concentrate on cleaning my grill grates safely, the aluminum ball method did a great job. And compared to the brush, it was way more effective. So ultimately, I think going forward, I'm gonna use the onion method, the aluminum ball method, and occasionally the brush method if it's a quick clean, but for a deep clean, it's definitely aluminum foil formed into a little ball with grill tongs. Who would have thought that something so simple could be so effective? That's it for me, guys. I hope you found this video informative. Check out some of my other videos and I will catch you on the next one. Take care, everybody. Hey, everybody. How'd you guys like that last video? Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you get notified on my next video. And if you can, please share with your family and friends. I would really appreciate it. Here's some more content that I think you guys are really gonna enjoy. Check them out. As always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Take care.